You're on the beach now, next to the ocean. Do you like it? Most people do. We all come from the ocean and we all rely on it. The Raining Climate Futures is a collaborative initiative. It's about the stories we tell about a climate changing world. It's about both how we narrate it through the methods we narrate it and the stories that we tell. So it could both be from a natural science point of view, it could be about the scenarios we make, but it could also be the stories that come from literature or, or culture, how it feels to live in such a world. So narrating climate futures is about bringing together different forms of telling stories and different kinds of stories. I am inside your head. It feels like you are scared. Massive demonstrations are being held in 50 major shopping malls worldwide. In Sweden, activists are occupying shopping center Emporia in Malmö and Mall of Scandinavia in Stockholm. So we have been experimenting with different forms of telling stories and we've done two sound walks. And the sound is a very powerful me me medium which is, allows you to transport in space and in time. We've done memories of the transition which tells the story of how, how Malmö became a post-fossil city from 2030 to 2050. Mom always used to tell me, Dusha, whatever happens, this will always be your place. And we've done Farewell Falstavu, which is set in a posh coastal city in the southern tip of Sweden. Do you see any houses around you? Can you imagine what they would look like after years of flooding, with walls that have collapsed? So for stories, places human beings at the center of what is happening. In a scenario, you are outside, you are looking ahead of something, for example. With a story, you are there, you take people on that imaginative journey and they experience it from, from within. So they are in the footsteps of someone who is acting, and that's a really powerful difference. Squats down. Use your hand to dig in the sand. So you get different kinds of feedback. So for Farewell Faustable, for example, there are experts organizations who spend all their days counting and thinking about what will actually happening. But they have never been there emotionally. So they come back afterwards saying things like, oh, it was fantastic to experience this. I've thought a lot about how it would look like, but this was the first time when I was there. Adult educational institutions uh, love our experience-based pedagogy. So some public schools and grown-up education, they, they go there and they have their time and often there are people who struggle with the normal school and they love this sort of emotional feeling that you get, the kinds of reflection you can do and the conversation that emerged from that. With Collaborative initiatives, it's not really about reaching for us to reach out, it's about allowing people to reach in. It's about inventing spaces and places where we can meet and where we can discuss, places that are meaningful. The ways in which we invent these places allows people to become engaged and they al allows them to think about then, okay, so what kind of stories do we want to tell about the a climate change world? What kind of stories do we want to tell about a, a post-fossil city, for example? So we allow people to sort of to imagine and be part of that journey. So the Swedish Meteorological Institute, they were formative in the early phases of the project, helped with sort of with knowledge and expertise. And they also we could consult them along the way. And after we were that we were done, they have been really helpful in spreading the world, inviting people to do the sound walk. They hired an expert uh, who did a study of it to trace the impacts of it, the effects on, on people who've done it. So they've been a very useful um, partner for us. We got a new grant that will allow us to make four new exhibitions set in the future. So we call these exhibitions Common Ruins and they exhibit the fossil era from, 20, from 1850 to 2050. So we will collaborate with artists, municipalities and regions in four regions in Sweden from the very north to the deep south. So in 2025 there will be four new exhibitions, particular stories told from particular places in Sweden of 
the things we left behind and the things that came instead. We are always looking for new partners. We want, we want to, there are so many stories left to tell about the climate. There's so many ways in which people need to, get, be, need to be emotionally engaged in what is happening.